Hello everyone, I am the Chocolate, and God is the Thunder. Because of that, I'll never go under. So my people are Thunder. Let me holler at y'all real quick. Some of my people are Thunder. Y'all not gonna like what I have to say right now. But you know what? I hope it helped you like it had to help me years ago. Don't worry about what the heck nobody else is doing. No, hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Worry about what you're doing. Worry about yourself. Listen, listen. Let me tell y'all. There was a time in my life where I was on welfare, okay? When my children were little. And you know what? I was sitting around worried about the baby daddy, worried about who he was doing, screwing, and all of that. Yeah, it was many, many years ago, but still, I was worried about it. I was worried about it, you know? I used to, you know, I really used to be ratchet. You know, I used to want to fight the man and everything. We would go to court, child support, and I'd be like, what's up? You know, I was just like that. I was ratchet. I was. I ain't gonna lie. Thank God for deliverance. Hallelujah. But one day I had to tell myself, you worried about what that man is doing with your ass need to be worried about. Yep. I said, what your ass need to be worried about is getting yourself together. Getting yourself together and getting your behind back to work so you can be the best mother that you can be to your children. Okay? And you know what? I ain't saying I'm no perfect mom by any means. Nah, I ain't never said that, and I never will say that. It's as simple as that. If I was such a perfect mom, I wouldn't need God's grace. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't need the Lord to, you know, I wouldn't have needed the Lord's help. But anyway, let me finish telling y'all. I got my behind up. I went to that Belmont racetrack. When my kids was little, yep. Went to Belmont racetrack, got me a job. I was crossing horses, but I did not care. I did that until I could get back into, into the profession that I am in now. And I've been in my profession for like 20 years. But I would not have been able to do that if I kept focusing on the baby daddy, focusing on people around me, focusing on, oh, like they know they could help me, but they won't even help me. Yeah, sometimes people, they know they can help you and they won't even help you. Why? Because they don't want to see you better yourself. It's beneficial to them sometimes with some people in your life you know some and maybe some of y'all don't have people like this in your life but sometimes people have certain people in their life that like seeing them down you know why because that's a benefit to them see sometimes another person's struggle is a benefit to another okay Bottom line is, I had to get my sugar honey iced tea together and focus on myself and get myself together. That's what I had to do. And I did just that. I did just that. I stopped being that old ratchet type of woman. I stopped being all of that. I was like, this ain't getting me no more. What the heck is wrong with me? I'm, I, I had to examine myself, examine my own heart and stop focusing on what other people was doing. I had to get what, get my sugar honey iced tea together. And that's what I'm telling some of y'all. Get your sugar honey iced tea together. Stop worrying about other people. Do what you gotta do for yourself. Yes, God is there to help us. But you know what? Faith without works is dead. Just sitting around talking about, oh, you know, ain't nobody helping me and blah, say blah, blah, say blah. That ain't gonna get you nowhere. That ain't gonna get you nowhere. Do what you got to do for you. And everything else will come together. Faith without works is dead. Don't focus on what other people are doing. Focus on yourself. Focus on what you're doing. What the hell are you doing? You know what I'm saying? And somebody need to hear that this morning. What the hell are you doing? That's what Somebody need to hear that. Like, handle your business. Handle your business. Don't sit around waiting for other people to handle your business. Handle your own business. Just like when I came to North Carolina. When I came to North Carolina, y'all, years ago, like 12 years ago, let me tell y'all something. It was such a struggle because I didn't have no car. I couldn't depend on no family. I couldn't depend on family to get me here and there. I couldn't. So you know what I had to do? Eventually, I had to learn how to drive so that I could get me a car for me and my two children, for my children and I, so that we could get around. So I wouldn't have to be asking people. I wouldn't have to be paying cab money because I was paying a bunch of cab money to get around. Because I ain't had no family really jump out and help me like that. But you know what? That ain't really their responsibility. You know what I'm saying? I had every right to 
see what I was getting into before I came down here. It's as simple as that. It is what it is. That's what I'm saying. Focus on what you're doing. Don't wait around for people. Don't wait around for other people. Do what you got to do for yourself. Yeah, we all need some help. I'm not sitting up here telling y'all, oh, ain't nobody help me. Oh, woe is me. There were certain people that helped me, but for the most part, I had to do things myself for the most part. I sure did. I sure did. There were certain people that could have got me a job because they had that type of status, but nope. I had to get my own job, and I'm glad it worked out like that because then those people can't look in my face talking about something if it wasn't for me. Because sometimes people be quick to do that. If they help you do something with some people, they'll be quick to do that if it wasn't for me, thinking you owe them something. I'm going to tell y'all who I owe. I owe the Lord. Because if it wasn't for God, if it wasn't for Him, Holy Spirit leading and directing me. But I had to still do my part. Do your part. Do your part. It's as simple as that. I'm not preaching to nobody. Because like I said, I was that one sitting around doing nothing, being ratchet. I was that one. I was that woman. But let me tell y'all something. Nah, I couldn't be that woman. I couldn't be that woman no more. Nah, I had to get it together. I had to get my sugar honey iced tea together for me and my children. And yeah, now my children are older now. You know what I'm saying? But all they know is their mother to work. That's all they know me to do. And that's good. That's good. Do what you got to do, sis. Oh, brother, do what you got to do. And sis, don't sit around worrying about that baby daddy. Don't sit around worrying about him. If he ain't doing his part, you do your part. Do your part. Baby daddy, don't sit around worrying about baby mama. What she ain't doing or what she doing or, you know, you, you, your head going crazy. Nah, that ain't it. That ain't it. How is that going to get you further in your life? Sitting up worrying about others. Even at my job I'm at now. You know who I worry about? I worry about what I'm doing. I'm worried about, okay... Am I meeting my sales goals? I'm not sitting around worried about is everybody else meeting theirs because that ain't none of my business. Am I meeting my sales goals? You know what I'm saying? Am I making sure that I'm an asset to the company that I'm working for? Because I never want to be a liability. All right? It's as simple as that. All right, y'all. That's it. Sometimes, you know what? Sometimes we need a good, stern talking to. You know what I'm saying? A good fire. You know, not fire, fire, but y'all know what I mean. Handle your business. And if this is not for you, pass it on to somebody else that could use it. Bye now. Be blessed.